All right, a quick look now at stories making headlines across the world. Egyptian protesters angered by an anti-Islam film crashed with the police near the U.S. Embassy in Cairo early on Friday morning for the fourth consecutive day. Police used tear gas to disperse them and the two sides fell to the stones at each other. The health ministry said 224 people including policemen were wounded and 12 protesters have been arrested. Anti-U.S. protests have swept Lebanon then as well. Hundreds of extremist protesters from the ultra-conservative Salafi group took to the streets of the southern Lebanese city of Sidon on a Thursday night to express outrage over a U.S.-made film allegedly mocking Islam and Prophet Muhammad. Protesters burned the Israeli and the U.S. flag. Four people were killed after a fighter jet bombed a main intersection in the Syrian village of Maria. Local residents said that the explosion destroyed a house opposite a makeshift gas station, killing three men and a woman. The area is under rebel control but is regularly targeted by government forces using shells and airplanes. The US bid farewell on Thursday to Neil Armstrong, the first man to take that giant leap onto the moon. Washington's movers and shakers, the pioneers of space, and the everyday public crowded into the city's National Cathedral for a public interfaith memorial for a very private astronaut.